In the world of home improvement dramas, Drew and Jonathan Scott are kings. The Canadian twin brothers have created one of the most compulsively watchable shows in the home decorating universe. But is everything what it seems? Not exactly. Here's why Property Brothers is totally fake. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Although a tiny fraction of the Scott Brothers' clients may actually be shopping around for a house, it seems most of them already have their home picked out, if not under contract. Please pray that this house is in our budget. Jonathan told Pop Sugar, We have homeowners who have identified a house that they already like. Because everything moves so fast for the show, we have found that it doesn't work well for people who haven't even started searching. In short, the walking around looking at houses portion is often just for show, as is the drawn-out, dramatic deliberation between the buyers as to which home they'll choose. I'm the realtor, that's my job. Considering most clients already have a house picked out, you can guess that a healthy percentage of the folks on the show aren't necessarily using Drew as their real estate agent. Yes, if you see some back-and-forth offering and counter-offering happening on an episode, it's probably legit. But for the folks who show up already holding the keys to their new house, Drew's just there to mug for the cameras. All right, cut. That's a wrap on the brothers. Awesome. Nice job. Thank you. See you guys. Okay, Time good. to go home. However, sometimes the brothers will indeed change the homeowners' minds. Jonathan told Pop Sugar, Sometimes when we're showing them other houses, because of the resources that we have, we can do more than they would have ever been able to do. Don't get us wrong, it's not like Property Brothers leaves its projects unfinished, but only about half the house, between three and four rooms worth, gets stripped down, rebuilt, and furnished to the gills with the Scott Brothers' help. I have some ideas about things we could do to space. Folks who appear on the show get to pick which rooms the brothers renovate, and even then, there are rules. According to MSN, homebuyers can either get their kitchen or their bathroom redone, but not both. If you want to be on the show, you'll have to make some tough choices about where you truly need that signature touch. Jonathan on the show would like you to believe that he does all the work, but in reality, I'm the puppet master. Jonathan is the face of the Property Brothers renovation machine, but he's definitely not the muscle. While he puts in an appearance at pivotal moments, one Reddit poster who auditioned for the show claims the bulk of the work is done by local contractors. If you're selected to be on the show, wear something comfortable because Jonathan's gonna put you to work. Have you done construction before? He told Pop Sugar, If we find that our budget is taking hits left, right, and center, I'll jump in and do even more because I'm not charging for my time, or we'll get the homeowners to jump in and do more. Considering how much eye-rolling and infighting goes on between Property Brothers' prospective homebuyers, you could be thinking every couple on the show filed for divorce once the cameras stopped rolling. The truth is, the drama is likely just another cultivated element of the show that makes it more watchable. But it's not strictly limited to the clients. A 2017 profile in the New York Times revealed that during the filming of season 5, Jonathan Scott once yanked a toilet out from the floor, but that the moment reportedly didn't have enough drama. So producers had Jonathan shoot the scene while walking into the small bathroom again, acting surprised as he spied the toilet. I don't do this for just anybody. I do this because I love you. God. Another time, strong winds reportedly knocked a metal chimney off the roof and onto the driveway of a house the brothers were renovating the day before a scheduled shoot. So the producers then recreated the high-intensity moment. According to the Times, the director ordered more workers out front, and when he hollered, bang, the workers pretended to act surprised. Drew then supposedly ran outside to tell the crew, go inside guys, I don't want you to work outside, it's too windy. As contrived as the majority of the drama on Property Brothers might be, there's one thing about the show that's definitely for real. According to many folks who've appeared on the series, Drew and Jonathan really are the nicest twin home renovation team on the planet. Yeah. This is proof. <laughs> These are tears of joy on my shirt. Unlike other renovation shows, the Scott Brothers let you keep all the staging elements because it was all worked into the budget. Jonathan Scott told Pop Sugar, Every one of our shows where it's a homeowner moving in, they all keep the furniture. I've heard that some other shows take it all away, and I was like, uh, that's a jerk move. You get someone to fall in love with a room, and then you're like, see ya. So no, everything that you see on TV stays. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.